So the card I'm going to make today is going to be using the Ice Cream Corner Suite from the January to June 2021 catalog. It is on page 48 and it has in the suite, there's a stamp set, a punch, um, designer series paper, ribbon, and um, sprinkles. So today we're going to do a simple card using the punch, the stamp set, and the designer series paper, and then another embossing folder. Um, so those of you that are part of my customer appreciation uh, class, um, you have all of these supplies in your card packets. First of all, I am using Bermuda Bay um, cardstock and ink. And I'm going to leave this up in the corner so that you can keep an eye on it. This is a fairly simple card um, and comes together pretty quickly. So you're just going to have a normal card base, fold it in half. This is, uh, again, Bermuda Bay. Um, we're going to be using the stamp set is the Sweet Ice Cream Stamp Set. And for this card, we're going to use the Happy Birthday and the Treat Yourself Word stat, um, Sentiments. So I have those already on a block. And, um, and then we're also going to use the punch that coordinates with the sweet. I'm also using several pieces of the designer series paper that is in the suite. Um, the designer series paper pack is a 12 by 12 paper pack called the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series Paper. And it has a ton of different ice cream themed um, papers. We're going to just uh, use the stripes. Um, and it's, uh, first of all, easy, just um, lay the the layer down. I also love this side. Um, it's hard to cover that one up and use the stripes, but um, it goes better with the ice cream cone that we're putting on the front just to use the stripes. Some of you may have in, um, in your card packs may have the sprinkles paper. All right, then um, I'm going to also use a white for the inside, but we're going to hold on that for a minute because we're going to stamp on that. The other thing I used um, in this was uh, just a strip of um, Bermuda Bay cardstock. And what I did is I ran it through our painted texture 3D embossing folder. So um, I don't know how easily you can see this on the screen, but it looks like paint um, or like a texturing. Um, so what it looks like to me on this card is ice cream, melted ice cream. Um, I've had some seen some other samples from other demonstrators where they've used it in uh, espresso cardstock and it looked uh, they used it for chocolate. Um, so I think it could be very universal. Um, so we're gonna just layer this right on the top of the front uh, front yeah top of the card front. Like I said, this card goes together pretty darn quick. So if you need a quick birthday card for a little one or a friend or someone, or just want to give someone a gift, this would be a really cute card. So then the other pieces of the designer series paper, um, I cut a, I'm gonna move that up a little bit. I cut, or I see, sorry, I punched out um, the ice cream cone, uh, the cone part out of the designer series paper. And then I also punched out three um, scoops of ice cream and those are out of, I'm just gonna grab one of the, couple of the designer series pieces of paper. This is what the paper looks like in three different uh, color palettes. Um, so I just punched cones out of um, each of those colors that I thought would look cool as a multicolored cone. And then uh, just this little label for the greeting. Um, so then I used some dimensionals to adhere them down to the card front. Start with the cone. I guess I just kind of put it halfway on that, the layer of the cardstock there. And then I did, um, we're going to hold on this because we're going to stamp on this piece. 
uh, on the backs of each of the scoops of ice cream. And you can use whatever side you would like. Um, I put the dimensional up towards the top so that we can kind of layer it over the top of each other. I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of alternate these colors because these are two similar colors. So we're gonna put one of these down first. This is a good way to use up paper scraps. They make all kinds of ice cream cones. So then they look like they're stacked right one on top of each other. You could tack, tack this one down, you know, the bottom side down with a little tape if you felt like you needed to. All right, then I'm gonna get my ink out and do the two greetings. I'm gonna back this up just a little bit. Bring this over in my Bermuda Bay ink. So the first one I'm gonna use is the Treat Yourself and I'm gonna put it on the little label. And then we're gonna also use, I love the font of this Happy Birthday from the like, Sweet Ice Cream stamp set. And we're just gonna put that down right here. For the inside, cover my ink back up. And then we'll stick this down to the inside of the card. And then I'm gonna put this up on dimensionals just to give it a little more dimension. ice cream cone and then the other thing I'm gonna do is I just have my wink of Stella brush and just to give the ice cream a little sparkle I'm gonna just paint over the ice cream scoops with wink of Stella you certainly could have done this before you stuck them down to the card front but it's just as easy to go afterwards and do it just want to make sure you get it all over and it just gives it a little bit of a shimmer that um, unfortunately might be difficult to see on the screen but it adds just a little bit of a glitter to it to make it sparkle and that is how quickly this little card comes together sweet and simple and very fun for a little one's um, birthday gift or birthday card or could be for an adult too who loves ice cream so I hope you enjoyed that cute little card and um, if you're interested in the ice cream suite it is in the January to June um, catalog and my links are below to get to my website thanks and have a great day